The jungle is full of dangerous surprises. Hey, wake up! Rhinos! Especially if you awaken a grumpy ape too early. <laughs> We've got to stop the stampede now, so... <laughs> My plant fuel formula will revolutionize space travel! If your baloney science works, I'd better be up there to explain everything to the clouds. And I'll bring them a cream pie. Clouds, don't talk or eat. Mm, but that pie looks delicious. A potentially explosive experiment plus our dads? This is gonna be a good time. I'm glad we got here early. <laughs> Almost ruined our dad's rocket launch. What I miss? You're snoring. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Sunshine. Hot coconut milk. Suit yourself. Nothing feels better than a morning workout. Yeah! Except the new lip gloss. Oh, and one of those hats that turn up ever so slightly to give you a mysterious look. Why are you so grumpy this morning? Snore. Hey, snore. Snore. So, if he does it again, just wake him up and tell him. <gasps> For the love of all things, George, don't make me do that! No! Are you afraid of hurting his feelings? <laughs> you guys are best friends. He wouldn't mind. I'll show you. Magnolia? Yes? When you eat bananas, it makes a squishy sound that makes my skin crawl, so can you stop? Thanks. See? It's called tact. Hey-ho, friends! Oh, Ape! We were just coming to get you. I want to show you something. You wanted to show me a bunch of sleeping warthogs? Hmm, fascinating. Boy, they sure snort. Yes, they snort a lot. Yes, they do snort a lot. Yes, they do. Some animals wouldn't be able to sleep around all this snorting. Well, the snorting would keep them awake. I think you hear what I'm saying. Yes. You're standing quite close to me. Well, thank you for the stimulating conversation. Mission accomplished. <laughs> George can't take it anymore! Uh, no, George is being there! He has to be strong! Hey, no snoring!
George is confused. Oh, George gets it now! I am afraid what we have here is a case of the extremely rare nasal dwelling sinus fly. In the jungle, we call it the Bugeski. Using this formula, I will enlarge the nose. That way, we can walk right in and remove the intruder. A strange. Maybe it's past its expiration date. Oh! <laughs> Uh, this is awkward. Great. I guess Ape is just going to keep on snoring forever. <gasps> George has an idea. Uh, Here, buggy, buggy, buggy. Mm -hmm. George has a nice big nose for you to climb into. Uh, did I mention it's the king of the jungle's nose? <laughs> Tickles. <laughs> But now George will snore too and not be bothered by it. Couldn't take one more night of your snoring, so we banished you forever from the jungle. Love your best friends. Oops. I don't get it. Snoring? This is about a little snoring? Actually, big snoring. Ape snores like a hippo with two pigs up its nostrils, while huge horses chew on marbles right in your ear. Really? While riding a motorboat past a log sawing contest. Really? But Ape has a bug up his nose that makes him do it. Really? And also, you hit when someone tries to wake you. Now that's just silly. George misses sleeping in his comfy bed. We've got to get these bugs out. and every monkey slept like a log. Yeah. <laughs> 
When you're George of the jungle... No! George! Being king of the jungle is a full-time job. We're late for band practice. The responsibilities are many. And the challenges are great. It's a messy job, but somebody's got to do it. Allow George. <laughs> What's next? Where's George next? Where? Where, huh? Uh, where? If you're gonna keep up this crazy schedule, well then, what you need is some rest. Oh, but George isn't even sleepy. <laughs> oh. 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 What's that? Be mucking? Yoga class. Uh, Swedish clock dancing? Yump and yimini, yump and yimini, yump. No. No yumping, no yimini. You need to rest. You need a vacation. Vacation? Vacation? Yeah, somewhere where your life's not run by the sundial. My family has a tree share in the South Jungle. They have the softest beds in the whole world. But who's going to watch the jungle while George is on vacation? Oh, <laughs> see, someone has to sweep that down and check and see if any worms were hurt and then glue a new leaf back on the tree. And if a tiger wants to fight, you have to make him count to ten. And, oh, yes, and ten in tiger is... <laughs> George, we've got it covered. Maybe George could take vacation right here and... No! If one thing in jungle goes wrong, fix it right away or else... <laughs> two things will go wrong. What are you doing? <laughs> we've got a jungle to run, animals to save. Right. I just thought I'd, you know, wait till I heard an agonizing cry for help or maybe got an email. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Right. Let's get started. According to the Law of the Jungle, Section 1, Subsection C... Hello there, little fella. I'm the temporary king of the jungle. Yow! Tookie, Tookie. Oh. Well, Tookie, it's not as nice as home, but it'll have to do. Temporary king of the jungle must assist any elderly person who needs help crossing the... Aha! No, no, madam. Let me assist you. There you go. Huh? <gasps> <gasps> Now that's more like home, except the dishes are done. Knock be knock knock. Are you George uh, of the jungle? Log rolling starts in five minutes. Oh, that's just how Ape would tell George to hurry up. <laughs> Let's just take them by section. I'll start with this guy. Now, what can I help you with? Oh dear, an injury. And what do you need? Your comb? Oh, we'll find it. It's around here somewhere. This is a Rocco nut. I can't open it. Hard like rock, see? Do you have a rotary saw? Oh. Hey, I've got this one. One of my daddy's potions will help. Oopsie. Let's try a chisel. Try this one. Oopsie again. Ah! 
Well, George usually rips them apart with his bare hands. Just trying to help. Maybe you could lick the tasty outside. Mmm. If you can't eat that, have some of my experimental organic totally good for you raw salad. What's in it? Stuff I found just lying on the ground. We're here, he'd tell George not to throw animals. Whoops. If only Magnolia were here, she'd probably turn this chair into a decorative hat. Oh, and find a pair of shoes to go with it. <laughs> are you sure this is a good idea? Rocks are better for a house than wood. We're talking ancient technology. Big Bad Wolf, Three Little Pigs, hello. <laughs> Do you need some water? No, wait! Oh, Dookie's right. That would have been a lot funnier if friends were here to... Pointed laugh at us. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, according to Jungle Myth, if the stone of Throck should ever fall, the volcano of Throck will erupt. Oh, please. All because a spooky looking rock falls over? Show's over, folks. Everybody back to... Uh... Okay, it's real. We have to call George. No way! He's on vacation. We promised him we'd take care of everything. You're right. He's probably having so much fun. Abe, are you there? I it's George. If you get this message, uh, I hope you're... having a nice day! <laughs> I for George to go home. <laughs> Except the part which is... Way, way worse. Yeah, there's some flames and beavers and lava and screaming buffalo. Yeah, oh, George is so happy to come home to panic, friends, and chaos. Here you go. George smells the mythical volcano of Throck. Okay, who moved the stone of Throck? <laughs> How did he do that? Who cares? Oh, boy. I really miss this place. Well, it's great to have you back, George. And we'll see you later. Huh? Yep. We need a vacation. Vacation? Man, Here I come. Wait! I missed you guys! Wait!
after me! In the jungle, no sight is sweeter than a new mama bird and her new baby bird egg. <laughs> Especially if you're a hungry snake. clock is the best gift Ape ever gave George. I didn't give that to you. That monkey just doesn't like you. Yeah. Hmm? Hey, an egg. Ooh, an egg. Well, let's see. We could have some omelets or a frittata. No. George must have laid this egg last night. Did you just say you laid an egg? Yup, a man egg. Hmm. How can I explain this? Ah, I know. You can't lay an egg. I can talk like an animal. I can smell like an animal. Ugh. Why can't you believe I can lay an egg like an animal? How about the fact that you're a guy, huh? How about that? George is going to take care of man egg. And when a little George comes out of it, we'll see which one of us looks like an overgrown monkey. Fine. But an egg is delicate. You're worse than a water buffalo in a china shop. Mm. What beautiful craftsmanship. <laughs> Man egg, come. Oh, <laughs> he's just tired. Oh. Ah. That's better. Oh, can I see the baby? Hi there, cutie. I'm Magnolia, your pretty aunt. And that is Ursula. She's your other aunt. Uh, George, I think that diaper is kind of unnecessary. Oh, time for potty training already? No, I mean, I don't think an egg needs that much attention. Sure, just sit on it till it hatches. Ooh, I just can't wait to see a whole man come out of that egg. Got an egg! <laughs> what? <gasps> <gasps> George just thinking about all the fun he'll have with little George. <laughs> what if it's a girl? Huh? A, a girl? A <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> bleak for help. George has to go. But what about your egg? Uh, George will take it with him. You can't take a delicate little egg with you. It's too dangerous. Uh, it's got to learn about rescue sometime. Also, long division. Very important. Help! Help! Okay, one moment. Hmm. Nope. Uh, hmm. Oh, nice and comfy. <laughs> there you go. Hey! Get away from that man egg! Remember, 
never to talk to Swap! No, no! <gasps> was a gunner when that hyena found it. And it was just luck when George found it in that egg fruit grove. You lost it? George still can't believe it wasn't eaten by the vulture who took it. Oh, or smashed with clubs by the chimps. That's terrible. George, as king of the jungle, you have too many dangerous duties to take care of this egg. Oh. Okay. For safety of little George. <laughs> Magnolia, you're hogging the egg. Am not. Are so. Hey, I have a fun idea. Let's use this time to get to know each other a little better instead of arguing. Sometimes in the morning, George's breath smells like bologna. Okay. Go back to arguing. Am not. Are so. Am not. You are, 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 are. <laughs> George is so lonely without man egg. Am not. Are so. Am not. Are so. You know, Ape, you could stand to trim your toenails now and then. What are you talking about? They're scratching me. My toes are nowhere near you. Are so. Are not. Are so. Wait. Those aren't Ape's toenails. <gasps> it's hatching. It's not a man. It's a bird? Weird. Whoa! Get that semi-hatched egg! I hope it doesn't fall and break its shell. And I hope that hyena had lunch already! Where's the egg? Man egg, you're back! And you have feet! I guess he took better care of it than we thought. Well, sure. What'd you expect? I break it? <laughs> hey, you! Cookie, cookie! Hello, little George. Cookie, cookie! Oh, okay. Hello, Tookie, Tookie. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Cookie, cookie! 
Well, sure. Tookie Tookie can visit George whenever he wants. And that's the story of how George met Tookie. <laughs> ah, the jungle at night. <laughs> Soothing. And jazzy. <laughs> Bungles! Uh oh! <laughs> I sincerely hope this is a bad dream. Uh, <laughs> it, George just want Ape to get good rest. Bongos! Oh. But everyone in the jungle knows what Bongo's do to me. Uh, Abe, stay here while George investigates. I tried telling him, George. Always open to another music lover. Yeah, but why isn't Big Mitch at the temple? Huh, sad story. Just when things were finally going good at the temple. Hey, quit hogging the cheese. I found my old set of bongos. Any requests? Ooh, ha, cha, cha. Good music, huh? Uh, tossed out of my own ancient golden temple with nothing but my beloved bongos. <laughs> but for now, let's party! Uh, give it to me. <laughs> 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 Uh, bingo, bingo, bongo time! I thought you were gonna take care of it. Oh, Big Mitch just got tossed out of his home. Don't worry, George has other plans. <laughs> Aha! I do not approve of this plan. But George, you can't solve all your problems by putting your friends in a block of cement. Why not? Ape can still talk, and George can feed him, and hold his book up so he can read, and... I have to go to the bathroom. Oh. What you want to do is distract Big Mitch with another instrument. George doesn't have any instruments. <clears throat> My voice is considered an instrument. By who? Me. supposed to take care of Mitch. Oh, Mitch taught me how to sing like a rock star. Isn't that so awesome? Gonna do it again. This means war. Bongo moisturizer? Keeps your bongo skin soft. How thoughtful! <laughs> uh, yeah. What the? 
You can't stop a poor entertainer from entertaining! This calls for the bicycle. What is that? What is that sound? It's called silence, George. And you better get used to it because that's the way it's gonna be from now on. <laughs> Here we go again! A one, and a two, and a three! Ape tipped over Big Mitch's tree? George, something had to be done. There were a lot of animals in that tree. Ah, it's better for them to find a new home where they don't have to listen to those awful bongos. Good, because George invited all the animals to come stay with us. Huh? Hello! What do you have to do to get some breakfast around here? Go. You're in my house, and I make the rules, and the first rule is no bongo playing. <laughs> These animals need a new tree. Any vacancies? Sure. Great. Are they available right away? I just need to do a background check, get references, clean, and rebark. Oh, and no marmosets. Named Mitch. <gasps> <gasps> Whoa! Big tree! How come George not smack into it before? It looks empty, George. Do you know what this means? Uh, George gets his own bed back? <laughs> Sorry, Big Mitch no can't do this. That's too bad. Because if you do move into this tree, you can have your bongos back. Oh! Yeah, give me my bongos! Yeah, uh, uh Tree first, then bongos. Slick. Very slick. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah! Ah, <laughs> <sighs> peace and quiet at last. We can't stand the bongos anymore! All this evicting gets me in a partying mood! Can I get a what, what? Holla! Get him! <gasps> okay, fellas, we can work this out. I mean, you wouldn't hurt a musician, would you? No! <laughs> <laughs> now see what you did? If you just... We told you we don't want you and your annoying bongos in this temple anymore. I am offended, sir. My drum thingy playing is one of the highest caliber. Hey, cut that out! Huh? How do you do that? Every time I hear bongos, an ape loves to dance. Great exercise for mummies, too. My bandages are getting a little tight. 
That looks like fun! Let me try! I love it! Keep playing! Here we go! Holla! <laughs> <laughs> this is fun! George should get instrument! No bongos! Uh, George? George! George! Panic in the jungle! <laughs> That's horrific! What horrible evil could cause such chaos? <laughs> George and Abe just days before their annual bath. Do I smell the rotten stink of Abe? Ooh, is that the aroma of my unwashed pal, George? <laughs> Mom, can I go outside? I said no. Now go play in some manure until it's safe up there. Ugh. Something terrible has turned rotten. Don't worry. Whatever it is, we throw it out, bury the fridge, burn the kitchen, and boof. Oh, Magnolia, what is that smell? Oh, just George and Abe. Didn't you know they only take a bath once a year? Ew. Yeah, things get pretty bad in the last week. Even their rubber bath ducky goes into hiding. Yes, sir. I'm a regular duck. Quack. Quack, quack, quack. They take an annual bath? Ew, that is so childish, so foolish, so boyish. Hi, everyone. George, you and Ape need to take a bath. <laughs> Typical human attitude. Being dirty keeps the bugs from biting. They can't stand the taste. Ursula should try it. You're not going to take a bath? Nope. <laughs> well, fine. We'll just glue these flowers to our face and smell that. Oh, I could make a flower perfume you can spray on yourself till bath day. I was thinking they could gargle with it. No way. George doesn't want to smell like a girl. <gasps> yeah, e pluribus smell them. United we stink. Girls are so dramatic. Ape said it. Uh, we flew south from this. I thought bath day would never get here. What are you wearing? I tore all the perfume sample strips out of my magazine, and I made this super cute skirt. Huh? What are you wearing? Something my dad invented. If the smell gets too bad, you just pull this. So refreshing! Ape in the air! Woo -hoo! Yay! Woo -hoo! Come on in, George! Whoa! Ho oh ho! That's what I smelled like! I thought you were gonna go for the record. Huh? There's a record for not taking a bath? Sure. Reginald Stinker McGaw once went two years. Smelled all his feathers off. Hmm. The king of the jungle should hold all the records. One more year! One more year! You One better more not year. be thinking what One I think you're thinking. Year. One more year! One more year! One more year! One more year! I took those flowers and made a huge jug of perfume. It's really strong, so only use a few drops. Don't you think you might be overreacting a little? Uh, hello, friends! <laughs> Give me that. Look, George, even Ape can't stand your stench. But George's stench is getting stronger. Watch. Open smell me You have to listen to us, George. The grass has stopped growing under your tree house. It refuses to leave the dirt. You don't get visitors or mail. Or breathable air. Oh, 
Okay, guys, I'm going in. Be brave. <sighs> Just a couple of drops on you should do it. Smell no match for all powerful George smell. <gasps> Want to play fetch? <laughs> hey, girls! Get away! Don't go any closer! <laughs> Record isn't worth it. George will take bath first thing in the morning. Ah, bath time! Oh, woo -hoo. I still hold the record. <laughs> George, I thought you were taking a bath. I'm being smelled now! <gasps> George needs help. I'm afraid his collective odors have finally taken over. Wait! Oh. The smell, it's alive. Smells aren't alive. They're simply molecules impinging on the human olfactory apparatus that... Help! It's alive! Help! Arrest that aroma! <laughs> We only want to talk. I'm right here. Over there. <laughs> Which way did he go? Over there. <laughs> <laughs> that smell is too smart. This calls for some serious science. This device creates a solid containment sphere. I may be able to neutralize this smell if you can just trick it onto this platform. How? Do not worry. I have that covered. Worst smell in the world! If you seek the reek, come take a peek! Say fantastic! Free rotting cheese inside! Come and get it! Wait! <laughs> What happened? Wait! Where's the smell? Ugh. Mm. Impossible! It evolved! It can live on its own! <laughs> How's your scientific method working out? Oh, can it? Hey! What about me? No! Oh. No! Oh. See? If he can do it, you can do it, you lazy slob. Smell is heading for the river, but he doesn't know the shortcut. Follow George. If he touches that water, it'll be a rumagator. And that's bad, right? Very. Imagine all the water in the jungle tasting like a dirty George. <gasps> We're, We're doomed! doomed. <laughs> Not necessarily. My perfume! I've increased the sweetness and purity by a power of Boogity 11. There is no such number as Boogity 11, you board shaking troglodyte! <laughs> 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 Stink! <laughs> Girl! 
smelly smell. Look how strong bad smell is. <laughs> and bad smell. She's kind of cute, right? In a disgusting, nose hair burning way. <laughs> What have I doing? I, I think I smell love in the air. <laughs> the smells are going away. George solved whole problem. But you created the problem. Ah, but I solved the problem. Huh? What's George's big reward? Huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Raised by animals and trained to track his prey silently, George of the Jungle loves the thrill of the hunt. Huh? <laughs> George! What did you save me from this time? Found another coconut that looks like George! I collect them. George, there's no room in here for any more junk. What are you talking about? Just my pine cone collection, my sleeping squirrel collection, my things that fell in George's head collection. But there's no room left in the treehouse for us to live in. Hmm. Okay, give George one hour. There, no more clutter. Okay, give George one week. What do you think? Wow, a new treehouse. Ape and George get own rooms. It's really nice, George. Are you sure the tree won't break? <gasps> it can't break. It's a rubber tree. <sighs> Just look at that view. <laughs> and this is the den. <gasps> wow, a lost temple of Gold. How do you lose something this big? I could learn so much about an ancient culture. I could dress like an ancient queen. I could have my own room. Dip. Hey, Max. What's the big idea? Sorry, I didn't see you there. Call me Big Mitch. Everyone does. Who calls you Big Mitch? They do, everybody. I'm very popular. This is your temple? Oh, lucky. Ah, you like my temple, do you? You bet. It's so big and roomy and wide open. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a great place for parties. And it's got these handy utensil dispensers. What George wouldn't give to live in a place like this. Hmm. What exactly would you give? Whoops. Ah! Oh, I am gonna look good in this. Whoops. Place is booby trapped. We've got to get out of here. Okay, we'll trade. George will give you four mangoes, uh, this string, ooh, and my treehouse for your temple. You'll give me a treehouse? Mm, I don't know. This temple has been in my family for generations. Okay, okay, two pieces of string. Okay, deal. But remember, no take backs. No take backs. So long, sucker. <laughs> so long. We've got to leave now. This temple is full of booby traps. And jewelry. And dangerous booby traps. And now we get to live here. George traded our old tree house for this awesome temple. Surprise. Word. Okay, 
We're gonna let you two sort us out from the safety of our own homes. Ape, you mad? Would you excuse me for a minute? I'm gonna go pick out a room. Sure thingy, just as long as you're not mad. <laughs> I called dibs on that room. Salt, please. Sorry. Uh, okay, George wants Treehouse back. No can do, guy. Remember? No take backs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boys. No take-backs. Do you know what this means? Uh... It means we can never go home again. What have you done, George? Me? Uh, well, this is all Ape's fault. How is it my fault? Somehow! Oh, it's a good thing this is a big temple, because I don't want to talk to you right now. We'll talk later, then? <laughs> George. I'm sorry. You should be. Sorry, George, listen to you in the first place. This is all your fault. My fault. It is all your fault. It is not my I fault. I don't no, really no, no, possibly fault. know what you're doing. Hey, hey, hey. What is wrong with you? You used to be best friends. It doesn't matter where you live as long as you're together. Buddy. Pal. Good. Now get your treehouse back so I can get some sleep. But you just said... No! <sighs> Big Mitch said no trade backs. Maybe he'll trade for something else. Quick, what have we got besides that stupid temple of gold? I got this paper clip. And I've got some lint. Let's go. Big Mitch will never trade the treehouse for this. Then we'll just have to trade this for something he will want. And I'll give you all of this in exchange for Egypt. Mm. Yeah. <gasps> There's no way Mitch won't give us our house back in exchange for all of Egypt. Right, George? George? George, wait! George, did you just trade the nation of Egypt for a glass of lemonade? Uh, sort of. You're not giving up yet, are you? I was hoping to, yes. We did it once. We can do it again. I've got some more lint. What have you got in your pockets? I have this other shrunken head. Shrunken head for trade! Shrunken head! 
Uh, who needs one? Shrunken head for trade! <laughs> Mr. Snuffles? Mr. Snuffles! Mr. Mr. Snuffles? My beloved childhood friend. Thrown out by my own mother. Hey! What's the big idea? Mr. Snuffles was your beloved childhood friend. Now he's George's beloved childhood friend. <laughs> I'll give you anything from Mr. Snuffles. Anything! Anything? Got any lemonade? George! Mr. Snuffles, I never thought I'd see you again. I'm so glad you're safe. Ow! 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 You got back your home and all of George's collections. Now that's a good trade. Nope. George traded his collections to Big Mitch for this. 